So here we have the Sabi G2R Evo. It's a personal locator beacon. It's a beacon that covers two kinds of operation. It has dual modes, programmable modes. One is an open search and rescue mode, transmitting on digital data 406 megahertz via SATCOM. It transmits homing frequencies on 121.5 and 243 megahertz. It has a second secure mode that is for CSAR, Combat Search and Rescue. And it is fairly, fairly unique in its form. It has all of the recognized means of activation in that it can be uh, activated by ejection, either by pull-pin or by G. It can be activated by saltwater immersion, or it can be activated manually. It has um, a twist-on, twist-off battery. Very, very simple. Batteries can be changed as needed. It can be installed or integrated in a, a life preserver, or in a raft, or in a load-carrying jerkin, or any other uh, means of carrying that military users or paramilitary users might have. It can cater for the un unconscious survivor in that the beacon can be installed in a, in a jacket and the antennas can be mounted remotely. So if a, uh, for example, a fast jet pilot ejected, they may be unconscious when hitting water. They'll be supported by their buoyancy aid, but the beacon will be activated automatically by whatever the chosen means may be and the antennas will be clear of the water, mounted remotely on the life preserver, alerting rescue services, and the survivor will be covered without any user intervention. The unconscious survivor will survive.